Hey, happy Friday morning, everybody. I uh, just want to give you this quick tip. I hope everybody had a great week, if I could speak today. Uh, I need some more coffee, apparently. So, quick tip here on your private mortgage insurance. Okay, so if you have that on a conventional loan, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about FHA, I'm not talking about any other government programs, I'm talking about conventional. Um, there's a couple of things to do, okay? When you want to get rid of that, okay? Uh, let's say it's two years, it's been two years, plus 20% equity. Call your servicer and see if they can drop it instead of trying to, to, to like refinance, okay? Yes, we would love to have your business and all that stuff, but the first thing I want you to do is to go this route first, okay? If you have PMI on there and it's been at least a couple of years and, and you have some equity in there, which everybody does now because prices have gone up due to the inventory problem, call your servicer and say, okay, what is the process for me to get rid of PMI? And then they'll walk you through it. Now, somebody doesn't give you a straight answer because, I mean, you're dealing with a lot of times on these servicers call centers, okay? So hang up and then call right back and try again. But they should have a process in place, which is usually going to entail, um, you know, some sort of like an appraisal uh, to see what the value of your house is, okay? Now, if that's in place and let's say the appraisal comes back and there's 20% equity in there plus then you should be able to drop your PMI that way. It shouldn't cost you anything except for that appraisal, which is a lot cheaper than taking all your closing costs and, and trying to, you know, try, trying to like redo the whole mortgage when all you have to do is just get rid of the PMI. So just a quick tip to, to save you some money here. Yes, we'd love to have you business, but at the same time, I want the best thing for you. And the best thing is, is, is to call your servicer and find out, you know, the process in trying to get rid of that PMI. That can save you hundreds of dollars per month, okay? Now, if that doesn't work, and let's say that the value is lower than that, then, then call us. And then at that point, I can show you a couple of different ways to structure your PMI to see if it still makes sense to, you know, to try to, try to you know, get rid of that PMI one way or the other. You know, either taking that monthly one and, and rolling it in, into your loan amount, which is, which is going to drop your payment. Now, everybody's heard me say this time and time and time again. Every $1,000 on your loan amount, up or down, only changes your payment five bucks. That's it. Okay, so sometimes it does pay, let's say there's less than 20% equity in there. Okay, let's say there's only 15 in there to roll that MI into the actual loan amount. Okay, so it doesn't come out per month, per payment. It gets rolled into your loan amount because that's not going to change your payment that much. But at the same time, you know, it, it's going to save you like a lot of money uh, and, and so forth. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. You got any questions on that? Comment down below. Shoot me a private message. Uh, or shoot me a text at 423-262-9229. Thanks, Diane. Appreciate it. Uh, always like trying to help people out there. And if you don't hear from me or if you need anything or you don't need anything, have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.